Welcome back, Captains. This is Grimace63, back at it again with another Star Trek Online video. And it uh, looks like Q's having himself a pretty relaxing uh, sit right there. Uh, not sure what he's got going on. Um, now, guys, I wanted to bring you this video today. And before you ask, no, this is not going to be a Q Winter Wonderland uh, video. Um, I really don't think that really much in the way warrants a video. Um, if you want to know how to do it, you go ahead and you race the Breen guy once a day for 25 days, and then you get a ship. Everything else past that is really kind of... I mean, it's fun. I mean, if you want to go in there and play around, I mean, it's kind of cool to break things up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, some of the stuff there is just kind of silly. Um, so, yeah, if you want to know how to do the Winter Wonderland, go ahead and... Um, Go do that race once a day, each character, and uh, do it for 25 days, and you'll have enough to get the uh, the free ship at the end of the event. Now, this video today is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I went out, and I've been saving up my cash, and saving up, um, and I bought myself 60 keys. I've been accumulating them over here over the last couple, uh, couple days, well, about the last week, and... Um, wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing and show you guys what happens when you open 60 boxes um, so going into this I'm gonna tell you guys right now with 60 keys I do not expect to get a ship okay it's just it's it's not gonna happen um, the ships are incredibly rare like we're talking about a percentage of a 1% um, like I mean Vegas could not get away with these type of odds like I mean the odds of you actually getting a ship are incredibly rare um, I mean, it would probably be somewhere like 10% of 1% chance. I mean, whatever the math turns out to be on that, I don't know. But, I mean, the chances are ridiculous. So, if you're opening up lockboxes to get ships, you've, you're have you going to lose every single time. Um, so, really, I don't open up the lockboxes for the ships. I open up the lockboxes mainly for... I don't know, I think I'm out. Let me see if I have any on here. I don't. Um... But the first two lockboxes, the Gem Hadar lockbox and the uh, Kalva Timeline lockboxes, they give you universal upgrade tokens. Um, to me, that's the most one of the most valuable things that you can get here in this game. So um, that's always my main goal. I love those upgrade tokens. They don't cost any dilithium to uh, upgrade your stuff. They're like 10,000 XP per token. Like I mean, that's it's the best way to upgrade in this game. So that's really the main reason that I do uh, the lockboxes is for the upgrade tokens. Uh, number two is the Dilithium Mining Claim. As you can see here, I've got a ton of Dilithium Mining Claims. Um, they're good. I mean, it's guaranteed 5,000 Dilithium a day per character. So, I mean, they're definitely good. I mean, I've got, you know, a year's supply of them uh, across my three characters at this point. But, you know, um, still, I mean, I do them every single day. And if you get some, you should be doing them every day, too. It's, it's a free 5,000 Dilithium. So, uh, definitely, that's another good thing. Um, after that, the Lobby Store... Uh, has got some really cool stuff in it. We'll go over it real quick. Because um, I know some of you guys, if you don't buy lockboxes, you don't have any lobby crystals, and you can't access the lobby store. So it's got some ships in here. Um, still, in my opinion, this is the best ship uh, that you can get on here, the Gem Hadar Heavy Escort Carrier. Now, I say that not having any of the other ships, um, other than this Calvin Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. No, I don't have the Intel. I have the other, um, the other one. Yeah, the Connie. Um, I've got that one, and that one's cool. Uh, that one I actually did get from a lockbox. It's the only ship I've gotten in all the lockboxes that I've opened. Uh, we've got the Vaudoir uh, Heavy Battle Cruiser. Uh, <laughs> not really sure how to say that. Eskida? Yeah, anyway. Uh, we've got the Herald uh, Baltum Heavy Raider. This one actually looks pretty cool. It's got a, um, what is it, like a 6-1 or 5-1 weapon configuration on it. So it would uh, really be good for a cannon boat. Um, this Alachi Ornish Battle Cruiser. I've seen someone in this, and this one has a, uh, I think it's a full, a full blown carrier. Uh, not 100% sure on that, don't quote me, but I know it gets a lot of pets. So um, it's at least got at least one carrier bay, and looks pretty cool. So um, those are the three new ships. And then, of course, you can get the Calvin Timeline Intel Dreadnought. That's the ship from the last pack. And then the Gem Hadar Heavy Escort Carrier. That's the. Uh, that's from the first, from the Dominion lock boxes. Um, you've got a couple fighters down here. I heard this Ferengi shuttle's pretty dope. I've never gotten one. I haven't gotten the um, the newest one. This is the new fighter that came out. I haven't gotten any of them, but I, I heard they're they're both pretty good. So, um, obviously, if it's a good day, we'll get a ship. But again, I'm definitely not counting on getting a ship. Now, the newest lockboxes don't have the upgrade tokens in them, so I'm only going to be doing 20 of them. Um, they do have anti-proton weapons, 
and I love me some anti-proton weapons. So we'll go ahead and we'll open these first, and then we'll do the uh, the timeline, the Calvin timeline, and then we'll do some of the Dominion Cardassian lockboxes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, usually I just I just burn through these stupid quick, um, and then just kind of count you know everything I have at the end. But since we're doing the video, I'll go through them a little bit slower. And again, we're just going to do 20 of the Harold Vardwar lock boxes. We're going to do 20 of the Calvin Timeline lock boxes, and we're going to do 20 of the Dominion Cardassian lock boxes. So, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Um, Harold kits, garbage. Um, 10,000 R&D research XP bonus pool. That's good. I'll take that. Um, genetic resequence, garbage. I think I've got most of them. Uh, genetic resequencer, re more garbage. Um, special work resistant pack, APU cruiser. Ooh, I got some type of ship. Where is it? Um, I actually don't know what happened to it, so I have to do a little bit more research on that. Uh, that might have been a. Um, uh, let's check real quick an Admiralty ship. I don't know what that was. APU cruiser. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully we can figure that out. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, moving on, moving on. Sorry about that. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Um, this package changed one APU cruiser. Huh. I don't know what that is. All right, so we got a Vodwar Polaron weapons. Those Polaron weapons are pretty dope. If you run on a Polaron set, I'll probably just end up selling mine. Uh, got another Herald kit on that one, plus five Lobi. Um, 750 reputation mark bonus pool. Not bad. Herald kits, they're garbage. Uh, ooh, nice. Five Catalyst plus 25. Those would be good for R&D. Uh, R&D pack, perfect. That's what I need. 100 fleet mark bonus pool. I'll take it. 10,000 R&D, I'll take it, uh, 15, 150 fleet bonus, uh, puller on weapons, ooh, anti-proton weapons, that's what I wanted to see, more vo uh, puller on, um, 20,000 R&D research XP bonus pool, uh, R&D pack, and the last one, what we get? 25,000 fleet bonus pool, not too bad, um, again, like, this is the reason I don't do the new ones is because there's no upgrade tokens um i'm usually getting about 80 upgrade tokens per pack so keep your fingers crossed i get some on this one um let's get started uh this is the calvin timeline one ah uh, there we go the universal prototype tech upgrade 14 perfect ah uh, 10 more um calvin timeline weapons they're not very good I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong, but I look at them as more of starter weapons. Um, you can get them stupid cheap. Uh, they are phaser, which is cool, but um, I don't think they're gonna hold a can, they don't hold a candle to my, my anti-protons or even like a face puller on or even a regular puller on, but my opinion. Um, space trait, uh, expedient repairs, already have that. Uh, another one, worthless. Uh, 10 more upgrade tokens, perfect. 750 reputation marks, uh, more upgrade tokens, Perfect. That's what I want to see, guys. Calvin Timeline Modules. Garbage. Uh, more upgrade tokens. Perfect. More upgrade tokens. Perfect. Oh, more upgrade tokens. Yes! Oh my god, guys. Honestly, this is about best case scenario for me. Um, all those uh, upgrade tokens. There. One Dilithium Mining Claim. Uh, more Calvin Modules. Oh, more tokens. Uh, perfect. Uh, it's got a launcher, mine drill. They're universal consoles. On that last one here, I'll open this. No, where is it? Um, I will open it up. Looks like it's taking a second. Oh, it's this one right here. And you get these two universal consoles. Uh, neither of them are good. Yeah, just saying. All right, cool. So now on to the last 20, and these are going to be the Dominion Cardassian lockboxes. So let's take a look, see what we got. Um, cool, that was a Mirror Patrol uh, Escort. Uh, they're good ships. Yeah, I mean, they're good ships. I, I usually give these out to fleeties um, just to, you know, just because, I mean, they are good ships. They're just, you know, T5, and you can't T5 view of them. 
Uh, dilithium mining claim, upgrade tokens, uh, dilithium mining claim, upgrade tokens, upgrade tokens, another dilithium mining claim, um, another upgrade token, perfect, oh, this is all dilithium, Polaron weapons, um, universal upgrade, perfect, VIP upgrade, Polaron, all right, so I've got five left. I'm not going to open these last five here. I'm going to do five more of the Calvin Timeline. I don't know why. Uh, Calvin Timeline weapons, modules, upgrade, upgrade, and I believe this is the last one. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Oh, wait, what did I do? Yes. Oh, another upgrade token. Perfect. So how many upgrade tokens did we get? Uh, 134, not bad. This is going to go all on my engineer. Uh, he needs, oh, got 234. I was wrong. Ah, uh, guys, this is awesome. This is really going to put my engineer where he needs to be. Um, yeah, this is going to help out a lot. So, all in all, out of opening 60 boxes, I got 234 upgrade tokens. Um... We've got, um, well, let's go ahead and let's start taking a look at some of the weapons. I'm going to get rid of all these uh, 25 fleet uh, bonus. I just used them. That's cool. Um, doesn't really matter. I'm going to go through and just use all of them. I don't know if they stack or not. If I'm making a huge mistake, guys, please let me know in the comments section. Um, what do we have here? These are just garbage. I'm just going to throw these into uh, the fleet bank, see if any of the, the little kids want them. Same thing with the kits there. Um, same thing with these. These are all just kind of, I mean, they're not going to do me any good. I've used them, most of them. Um, this is an R&D pack. We'll open them. Um, Dilithium mining claims. They're bound to account. I wish you could sell these. I bet I'd do really well if I could sell them. Um... All right, cool. Let's start opening some of the stuff. Uh, this right here, I'm just going to put in my fleet bank. Again, you know, um, it's good for the for the lower level guys to get. Cool. So, um, more money claims. All right, so let's take a look at these phase Polaron weapons. These are the ones uh, that came out of the Dominion lockbox. Got a couple ground weapons. 170 DPS, uh, 161 DPS, nothing great. I know all my guys on this character are running better weapons than that, so... Yeah, I could sell them, but it's it's just it's more of a hassle. People really don't buy them. It's just, it's just more of a hassle. Um, so, on these, you get to choose the weapons. It's, it's really kind of up to you which way you want to go. Um, the two ground weapons versus the, um, the starship weapon. I go with the starship weapon just in case I get one that's, that I luck out and I get one that's epic. Um, I can sell it for a decent amount of money. Um, I've never gotten an epic one, so I know they do exist, but I've never gotten one. So cool, I got two um, Calvin Timeline fo Photon Torpedo Launchers. They're actually good launchers. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're good stuff. We're going to go ahead and open up these R&D packs. Cool, got a bunch of good stuff from there. More Catalyst, awesome. Let's open up the other one. Ah, even more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So cool, that'll help with the R&D. Um... These timeline modules, I'm just going to throw them in the fleet bank, too. Um, here, I'll open one of them so you can see it. Like, uh, ceasefire. Actually, you know what? I might open up these. Yeah, I'll open these up, see if we get anything good. Most of the time, it's just ceasefire. Yep, and as I said, I got three ceasefires. So I already have it. It's it's a decent ability, but it's it's not great. Um, now, same thing with this uh, training manual. It's usually garbage that comes up. Um, science, cold fusion. It's always cold fusion. Like, I don't get it, but whatever. And then Vodwar Polaron weapons, uh, ground, ooh, there's a dual bank, and a dual heavy cannon. I'm not running Polaron on any of my characters right now, so um, these will probably just end up going up in the exchange, or I might just throw them into the fleet bank. APU cruiser, let's, guys, I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to have to Google that, because I honestly don't know what it is. Uh, let's take a look at this Herald Anti-Proton Weapons. These Herald Weapons are good. Um, they're, 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 they're good weapons. Um, they fire in blue. I'm going to go with Beam again. I'm not running a Herald Cannon build on anything. 
And I definitely don't need the ground weapons. So let's see what we got. Crit H times 2 in damage. Definitely not bad. It's not going to make its way into one of my builds. So I'll probably just go ahead and uh, sell this one as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. While I've got you guys here, though, I am going to Google this. Because uh, I honestly I don't know what it is. Um, APU. Definitely a vessel. Oh no, it's uh wait, what is it? It's a tier five. It looks like it can be upgraded to a T five U. It's a cruiser. Um four four or turn rate. It's actually you know it doesn't look too bad. AP cruiser is a rear admiral tier five cruiser. Available on Fed, ROM, Republic, and KDS, so it's universal. Um, stats on it look fairly decent. It's a weird looking ship. Um, but yeah, stats on it look fairly decent. It says it can requires an upgrade token, so that means it can go up to T5U. But um, yeah, you know what? That's uh, that's pretty cool. It's got three tactical consoles, four engineering, and two science. With the T5U, it takes it up one more engineering console. So it's definitely an engineering ship. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess around with this, guys. I'll do uh, a review on it a little bit later and let you know what I think. Um, and we'll go from there. But, guys, I really hope you like this video. Um, as you can see, 60 keys, they go real quick. And uh, you guys can judge if it was a success. For me, it was a success for here for these 234 upgrade tokens. Um, that, to me, is pretty much worth the price that I paid for those lockboxes. Um, so with the price I paid for those lockboxes already being eaten up right here, um, everything else is just a plus. You know, I mean, I did get a T5U ship out of it. It's not a Tier 6, but, hey, I mean, it's a ship. I will definitely use it. I'm going to throw this on my, uh, my engineer. Um, and uh, use it at the very least. I'll have a decent Admiralty ship. You know, uh, we did get the one anti-proton weapon, which is going to be sold. Um, these Calvin Timeline torpedoes. I'd love to tell you that I'm going to sell them, but I'm probably just going to end up deleting them. Uh, these are all going to be for the Fleet Bank. Um, Fleet Bank. You know, I got a bunch of more Lobby Crystals. So, yeah, you know, I don't think it was too bad, guys. Um, fairly, fairly happy with this one. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, kind of give you an idea of what goes into opening a bunch of lock boxes. But if you did like the video, give me a like, uh, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.